Hi again. Welcome to Frequency Bone Summer Music Connection 3. Instruction 3. Now for the past several videos, we've talked about playing in the sandbox of what our instrument can do. We're talking about a lot about tone, actually, and playing with it like it was a piece of Play-Doh or Silly Putty. And I think what's important to realize is we don't have a lot of time to play, do we, a lot as adults? Or young adults? Or students practicing for auditions? Um, getting ready for work, going to school. And we want to make everything so right, don't we? We want to be so good. And the sooner the better. Well, depending on how that attitude keeps growing, we might miss some of the personal art. And that's a lot of what I want to talk about in this Instruction 3. I want to start weaving that in because we're going to be dealing with balances throughout this summer. How to balance our work life with our personal art life. And the discovery of each and the connections that they both can have. So, let's think about this for a second. When we're playing in the sandbox, with sound and stretching things, I hope you were. Um, that's getting very personal in an impersonal way. <laughs> in other words, you're to have a personal interest in discovering the properties of something. It's impersonal because you're dealing with all sorts of different natural laws, really. At the same time, it's personal because you're trying to find how those apply to your unique setup. So, playing in the sandbox, in a way, was starting on the road to finding our personal art because we start to know aspects of ourself better, at least our playing self. And I encourage you to have another study alongside of this, which is knowing yourself. Not just your playing self. Yourself. You. The individual, the unique human being. And from that connection, you will have your personal art start to emerge more fully, more originally, more genuinely. So, the personal art. Well, you've heard me talk about free expression times. These are important. And like I was saying, how much time do we have for that in the midst of our schedules? But make the time to sit down and at least start with just seeing what you feel like doing. And for a while, you might just kind of go back to certain conditioned responses that you make, that you play with, and that's what naturally just comes out. Naturally because it's a habit now. And there we have a little gate to pass, past the gate of our habit. That is not necessarily very easy. I have things that I could always play. They always seem to be in me. And was that from a habit? Some of it is. I've discovered that some of it is something that maybe was inside me very, very young. Probably has to do with environment, but also I realize has to do with my own real yearnings. 
and thoughts and goals about what I want for my particular existence. So, playing with your sound, playing with your articulation, playing with your dynamic contrast. You're playing to discover yourself. You're playing so you can have more of your personal art. Now, personal art doesn't have to be my selfish art. It might be that you might have a feeling about a person, place, or thing, and you want to express it. And the more you're in touch with the different things that you can do, the more like the artist, you'll be able to create a picture, a sonic picture in this case, of something. Now, you would never know what that was. And I'm not saying that was a good representation sonically. Because of what I was thinking about, which were these strange mushrooms my wife and I found on a path today. Um, kind of a pinkish brown color, at least it was in my eyes, and kind of bulbous, but but different than I've seen before. Different kind of shape, and a group of them, maybe about four or five of them. Now, I wasn't necessarily trying to sonically paint their shape as much as kind of the feel, well, some of the feelings they gave me at first. But now when I feel about it, or think about it, notice I said feel about it, because I think it should be think-feel. You have both going on, your mind and your feelings. Is that I think those mushrooms made me feel a little more like... If I thought about it more, maybe something else would come to me. I'm all of a sudden starting to hear. And the more I think about it, I'm feeling, that's too complicated. think about that, I think, I'm not sure about that. Guess what? I'm on a discovery journey. I'm questing. In this case, I'm trying to find out what they're saying to me. And that doesn't happen overnight. But because I've been discovering about sound and playing with things. Something might come. Something might come. And if I'm really interested in finding out what those mushrooms were saying to me, I will keep pursuing it. Now you can do this with anything. You can do this with your pet, with your spouse, with a friend, with a tree. See what it does to you. See what it opens up. Find the sonic painter of yourself and see what unfolds to you. <laughs>